But it's mid main versus Raiko. Uh, right here, starting off in the top 16 winners, man. It's the pretty much the season finale, whatever you want to call it, man. Top 16 winners. Here we are with mid main and Raiko. Uh, if you love the Smash World Tour, man, you knew the menace that mid main was. <laughs> this last night crazy stuff all together but of course we will have robot gangster and rap hopefully Rath did not dq Two, one, go. Nah, i think he checked in but here we go i um one of the things that's kind of interesting about this is schult is not what you would call characteristically a wi-fi meta character yeah so seeing raiko make it this far in the ladder is actually pretty neat it, that's let's just think about characters that require high execution. Is they're predominantly not like Wi-Fi characters. They're characters that require a high level of execution and precise timing. So when you can't get those things going, man, you really feel it, especially when it comes down to just trying to get those frame perfect opportunities. Alright, Raiko with the speed art trying to swing the mid main able to cover and land and hit back to stage. Oh! The backslash actually cut through both of those arm hitboxes. That's cool. Didn't know that. Yeah, bat hard, man. There's a lot of things that you have to really... Min is one of those characters you kind of have to be forced to be fought differently because she's one of those characters that just... She can cover the mistiming of a move with a second arm. And in that regard, like, you can lose a lot. but And the distance, man. She is... You think Byleth is a distance demon? Nah, dude. Min Main no. is definitely... The inheritor of that title, but uh, right now Raiko's at a really good position where he understands Min Main is at the far end. If I can get this forward air and force out the second jump or the up B a little early, then I will get the stock here. But unfortunate man, as Min Main buys her way back to the stage, backslash tail end and able to hit Min Main. Not enough though. I mean, okay, here's the back air. And this is a little bit early for Raiko to go for that forward air sweep because you have to commend him for it. It would, be, it would kill so much if he tried to recover or tried to use the second jump right away. Oh, and the perfect timing on the fair there by Raiko to take that stock. Min Main has been having a lot of success in, in, in sustaining these stocks and just sticking and moving with the one two to get out of uh, bad situations. But let's see if Raiko can actually pile on the damage. So there's one thing Schultz can do, man. It's, it's avalanche in terms of, you know, um, momentum. Yeah, it, it's one of those things of like once Schultz gets his, his game plan started, it's really difficult, and it's the same thing for Min Min. It's like, once she has you at that consistent distance, oh, God, it's so hard. Uh-oh. What is it's actually hard to, to, like, visually see is if the arms actually are going to two-frame. It's one of those things where it's like, well, I'll know it when it happens, just like that big dragon arm there connecting to knock Raiko in the blast zone. <sighs> yeah, Raiko in a really rough spot here. 74 on Min Min, two stocks each. Uh, it all depends. Like, this is the hardest part. A lot of Shulk's movement and damage come from him going for aerials. On the ground, yeah. he doesn't have a lot of options, man. So he has to get in with neutral. He has to get in with back air. But when you're being constantly called out by these arms, oh, after each swings, it hurts. Oh, yeah, that whiff of smash is going to be hurtful. Because Min Main is just pummeling him at a distance and really boxing Raiko out and keeping him off stage. Yeah, if Min Min gets crossed up, she could just hit you with a second arm. And it's not going to be that much on her to do that for against you. Raiko really needs to like, end the stock here in order to start bringing it back. Oh, I'm try to get the uh, return to ledge down air and instead Min Min able to roll through. But, oh, and calling out the roll, actually, Raiko, just in time with the big smash art and aided uh, F to... Oh. Mm. oh, did you see that, Vic? I blinked and I missed it. I saw two arms come out and I saw Shulk off the screen. Whatever happened, happened in a flash just a second because that was painful. Min Main basically stacked and uh, staggered the hitboxes of each arm in order to connect the second arm to do uh, additional knockback that sent Raiko just like a comet into the blast zone. We're going to have to see what Raiko wants to do here in game two because uh, basically from the second stock onward, Min Main was fully in control and held on to that. that was, it was just wild to see those hitboxes that get stacked and staggered like that. One, and then like almost like uh, a, a, a diagonal, it, like a diagonal uh, plot point way down the way. Two, bam, sent to the blast zone. I'm trying to do math here to explain to Min Min. It ain't working, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard. It's definitely a whole different thing. But game two, here we go. 
So yeah, ga oh, man, game two is gonna be very, very different. We'll see how that goes. Now we are on PS2. Maybe uh, Raiko realizing that being basically soft locked onto one of those town platforms wasn't the best idea. Yeah. It's one of those things of like, yeah, the town platforms are one thing you gotta really worry about. Oh, oh, oh my god, I thought Midman almost had Steed there. <laughs> Midman is a character that, like, I. She doesn't suffer from, like, the top tier Bayonetta problem or, like, a Bayonetta main will SD, man. Min Min only SDs if Min Min, like, forcefully chose to. Wow, that hurt box was still out there even from the down tilt. Good stuff on Raika, either way, going for that down air. But like I said, man, a lot of Shulk's damage that comes from aerials, cross-ups, snares, fares, you name it, man. It's all coming right from the skies, and Min Min just knows if I keep the skies locked away, it's Shulk has such a hard time on the ground. I think the one thing that slows Shulk as a character from being like, in my mind, he's undoubtedly like a top tier, high tier contender for sure. I always kind of fluctuate between top tier and high tier conversations, but the one reason why he can't be even better is his sword, he has to pull out his sword to actually go for the swing. And that's kind of bad by design. Every other sword character already preemptively holds their sword. Shulk is the only one who has to pull it out from his back. He has to unsheathe his sword with every single hit. And that unsheathing comes into play when Min Main's able to react with smash attacks in the air, like the one that just cost Raiko there for stock here. Raiko has been getting more out of speed art, so we're gonna see him probably go to that a lot and try and Oh, oh no! <laughs> Forget what I was saying, Min Main with the, the uh, frame perfect down air there in order to just basically steal Raiko's stock. This is. Uh, I don't know, Vance. This is looking really grim for Raiko. Looking grim for Raiko, indeed. He's having a rough one. Uh, double Nair here, and immediately Min Min getting back on the stage. Raiko unable to hold this ledge guard. Good make double jump mix up. No grab. That grab has a lot of startup. It's a decent end lag. It's got the range, though, to make up for it, though. But in that range, definitely going to miss it. Taking that time to come back on the stage, and I like that Min Min didn't feel that the stage was safe. Come back to the scene of the crime here. Let's get this shook off the stage. Wow, man. Raiko needs a break here because Min Main is just running this train. And he's got the, the meta watch. The meta, what Min Main's thinking now is time to end this. Oh. Big up smash catching a landing on the plat from Raiko, who's just stuck in shield art trying to maintain this last stock here. Oh, that was a big up either. Raiko just sticking and moving with the uh, walk shield. Got the smash art out. This could be a double-edged sword for Raiko. He's got to be careful about winning shields. Oh, he didn't get the second hit of up air, but does get the landing fair there in order to take the stock. Yeah, landing fair for Shulk. Definitely something that he needed to pull out there. Oh, oh for a second, I thought we were going to see a fair train from Raiko. Oh, no. Uh, we see no fair train, but we only see these arms train, man. And Min Min is definitely taking it up 2-0 over Raiko. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is best of three territory still. Top eight is best yeah. of five. So that'll be it for Raiko, unfortunately. Tragic stuff indeed.